What's up everybody, it's Bootla Bobby back with another Monsters Pepper Review. Except, guys, today's not a pepper review or anything that I've ever done before, really. Uh, today, thanks to a friend and fan of my channel, uh, me and my wife here will be reviewing Australian snack foods. She sent a humongous, huge box of snack foods. This is just some of it here. The box weighed uh, over 10 pounds, actually. 15. 15? I think it was 16. Oh, 16. Anyway, it was a humongous box. Um, also, among those is, of course, one spicy thing and these. These are Mountain Dew flavored Doritos. Uh, actually, these are not available in the United States at all, uh, they're only available in the Australian market. Uh, oddly enough, Mountain Dew was actually created and started in Tennessee in the state that we're in right now. So, kind of fitting to actually be reviewing these. Go ahead and, uh, the package says Mountain Dew Energized. I actually googled that and apparently prior to a few years ago, Mountain Dew in Australia was not caffeinated. The back of the bag says after a refreshing after a refreshing zesty zing uh we've huh? oh we've combined lemon citrus flavor of mountain dew with signature doritos full-on crunch do you snack bold it says ingredients corn canola oil sugar dextrose lime juice powder fructose flavors maltodextrin Butter powder or buttermilk powder, I'm sorry. Uh, flavor enhancers six to one salt, citrus, beverage powder, colors uh, 102, 133, 110, 100, uh, sunflower oil, antioxidants, tocopherols, ascorbic acid, rosemary extract, and citric acid. Contains gluten, contains milk or milk products, contains soybeans or soybean products. And then it's got the nutritional information, but it's a whole lot different than the Americanized version. And I have no idea what any of this says. I don't know what KJ and all that stuff is. I think it's kilojoules, but I'm not certain. I have no idea. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get into this. Great. <coughs> It almost what? It almost smells like Mountain Dew. But you can I don't know how to explain it. It smells like Doritos mostly. No, but you can still it smell like lemon limes on saying. Yeah. Go ahead and get one. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. It's like a mountain, like lemon lime Dorito. Yeah. Mm. And to me, it almost tastes like. It almost tastes like lemon pound cake. I was gonna say that, like lemon Fruit Loops. Mm, maybe, or Seven Up cake. Yeah. They're not bad at all. They're probably one of the strangest chips that I've ever had, but. Uh oh. One of our dogs got one. <laughs> We've got a Boston Terrier, and he's standing on the steps in the okay. from the kitchen watching us. Oh, and there's the wiener dog. Here you go, baby. Right on cue. That's too big. No. Apparently, he didn't want it. I mean, they're good. They, they don't taste like Mountain Dew to me. But surprisingly, they're actually really good. I could eat them, and well, I'd probably really the rest of this bag. Hmm. No. No. All right. Let's see what else we got in the bag. Yeah. Okay. Let me put these over here. Oops. I'm tearing stuff up, guys. 
dropping tablets. Here's something he was excited about. Arnott's Mint Slice. Now there are a few uh, things that are in the bag that we can't try in this video because apparently we need milk and I've not went out and got any yet so do that soon. It says there's no substitute for quality uh, ingredients on this. Oh wow. Well. Hey, trying to be a movie star. Tell everybody hi. Look, right here. Look, right here. Say hey, guys. <laughs> oh, can you see yourself in the camera? No, don't steal daddy's pop, please. I was going to read the direct, uh, the ingredients in this, but oh, there they are. Wow, they're actually, they're really small. It says biscuits, chocolate, sugar, cacao. That's just too small to read, guys. I'm sorry. Go ahead and get into it. Um, I think I was right. Hmm. I think these are like uh, thin mints. Probably. But better because they don't use high fructose so corn syrup. Yeah, I didn't see how to put those corn syrup in the ingredients. Ooh, that smells really good. Mmm. Mmm, really it's good. like... Wow. So much better than a Thin Mint. It's like Thin Mints, but it's also like a... York Peppermint York, Patty. That's what I was going to say, York Peppermint Patty. Wow. These combine... Yeah, thin mint and York peppermint patty. So basically, two of my favorite mint and chocolate things. Those aren't gonna last long. Mm -mm. Another one? Yeah, I'll take one. I mean, we gotta be careful because we got a lot of stuff to try still. I know. And this video is already almost eight minutes long, and we've only tried two things. You want to take home? Mm. Okay, the dairy milk. Mm-hmm. Now, I read online mm -hmm. that their chocolate is different than ours. Mm-hmm. I can't remember exactly how they said that it was different, but something I about... I think it's better ingredients. Yeah, I mean, definitely that. But... Well, one thing, like you said, there's no high fructose corn syrup in this. At all. I'm going to palate cleanser. Okay. Cadbury Caramello Koala. Dairy milk. It says milk chocolate with smooth flowing caramel. Good day, bite. Mm, that's good. The caramel's so much. It, this caramel's better. It's not as sweet as ours. Mm -mm. I don't, like it better. I don't like super sweet chocolate. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's got like a better flavor to it because like it don't. It's not like packed with sugar. Another bite. <coughs> You can have the rest of that. I'd save it though because we get mm -hmm. still some more stuff to get through here. All right, so we got a couple sweets. Let's try the something. Let's try the um the marmite and shit. That's what I was looking for. Okay. 
Oh, it's burger ranch. Those are burger ranch. No. Oh, I was holding down. Barbecue. Oh, you're in here. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, Vegemite there. and cheese. Vegemite. Okay. Let's show everybody this. These are Arnott's shapes. Vegemite and cheese. Now, I actually do have a jar of Vegemite upstairs. But don't have everything I need to eat it the way that she suggested eating it. And she said, under no circumstance should, you okay, buddy? Said, under no circumstance at all should we eat it with a spoon, because that would not be good. Um, it's basically just straight up yeast. Uh, they say oven baked, not fried. Our uh, Boston Terry is having a temper tantrum. Yeah. He's grumpy. He's mad because everybody's in the studio and he's standing in the kitchen. There you go. Uh, says flavored biscuits. <coughs> right. Stop, honey. Okay. Hey. Hey, buddy. Now you're making your guest appearance, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, says flavored biscuits. Uh, says flour. Wheat flour, vegetable oil, Vegemite, three uh, three percent contains yeast extract from. You, can you put him down, please? He's hurting me and tearing up my shoulder. Uh, from yeast grown on barley and wheat, color caramel, natural flavors, corn flour, uh, cheese contains milk, salt, natural flavors, yeast, baking powder, milk solids. Go ahead and get into this. Again, this is Vegemite and cheese flavor. They smell good. They smell really good. That's what shape they are. Mmm. They're really good. I like those. Man, I'm thinking we're gonna get hooked on something that we can't get in the United States, and then we'll like it, and then we can't get it anymore. Probably. <laughs> right, right. Right, you want a cracker? Right, likes them, and apparently Caesar does too, guys. These are really good, though. They're really good. I didn't think they'd be that good because of Vegemite. I've heard of horror stories. But apparently from all the videos that I've seen people eat it wrong. Apparently I'm supposed to put just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I've seen people like make a sandwich out of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Big burger taste. Burger rings. They look like Funyuns, shape-wise anyway. Yeah. Got so much on the ingredients on the back of this, so I don't know. They taste like onions. Mm -hmm. I think so. But there's more uh, seasoning. Yeah. It's got like... There's more than just onion flavor. Yeah, it kind of almost tastes like... I don't know. They're not bad. I taste the ketchup on that one. Did you? Yeah. That one actually tasted like a hamburger, if that's what it's supposed to taste like. Well, there's definitely beef flavor. Yeah. I, I just tasted one of them, but I tasted like a combination of ketchup and mustard. Mm. Those are really good. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite so far, definitely the mint slices. But The marmite and cheese shape's really good, too. Yeah. 
Everything's been good so far. Uh, obviously, we can't go through this whole bag because this video is huge as it is. Um, now, guys, this will be a separate video, but I was lucky enough that Yolanda sent me this uh, Byron Bay beef jerky, Stipples Doo Doo. Uh, it's supposed to be extremely hot. It's Carolina Reaper. Um, I, I, I had reached out to the company, uh, and they were unable to send it to me because they couldn't send products outside the, uh, outside of Australia. Uh, they couldn't send anything to the United States. But she was kind enough to enclose this in this bag of uh, snacks, so I will be doing that review, which I'm really excited for. More sweets or more no. savory stuff? It's up to you. It doesn't matter to me, sweetheart. Well, here, you can try that. I know I'm not going to like it. I'll take a bite of it, but I know I'm not going to like it. Cadbury cherry ripe. I do not like no cherry flavored stuff. It's got 2.2 grams of protein in it. Oh, wow, that is not. The well, the ingredients on this are real small. It says ripe, juicy cherries and coconut and old gold rich chocolate. Dark chocolate, not oh, dark chocolate. Wow, I'm blind. Mm. Well, that's good. I've never, I've never heard of a cherry ripe, right, though. Mm -mm. I haven't either, but I've not heard of a lot of I'm surprised that most of the stuff didn't get It smells like a cordial cherry, it does. I, I'll take a bite, but. I don't like it. You might. That's not fake cherry. That's like real cherry flavoring. It's not terrible. I'll give it that. I like it. I'm glad you like it. You can have the rest of it. Okay. I mean, it's not. <laughs> it's not terrible, but it's not your thing. Yeah, I don't like cherries. I like that. You're also not the biggest fan of coconut. I'm really not. I like the smell of coconut, I don't like the taste. We'll do one more and cut this video off because it's going on 18 minutes here. You want to try the Maltesers or do you want something savory? Um, it's up to you. Let me try the Maltesers. Okay. Teasers, uh, crisp malt centers, covered with smooth milk chocolate. I guess they're like uh, malt balls. Is that what you call them? Um, whoopee. The yeah. Whoppers. Whoppers. Yeah, so malt balls. Melted chocolate. Yeah, it's just tear here. I don't know what I was smelling. <laughs> it smells chocolate. Yeah. No, I don't. I know I don't like Whoppers, or I didn't the last time I tried them. But the last time I tried them, I was probably a kid. So. I like these, but I've liked everything so far. Well, it's not bad. I don't know if I could sit and like eat a whole bunch of them, mm -hmm. but eat a couple of them, my bad. But you don't do that with Whoppers, so you definitely like these better. That chocolate tastes better. Mm -hmm. That chocolate tastes a whole... Regular Whoppers, I don't eat. So far, though, I mean, other than the savory stuff that I like chips, but this stuff is amazing. I need to see if I can buy... Actually... I might have to go online and buy more of these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had lost five pounds according to the doctor. I'm going to gain it all back with this bag. Try one more thing. I saw something that I was curious about. These are Smith's chicken chips. I don't know if Smith's is a... Uh, Smith's is like... 
Frito Lay there. Or yeah, Lay's. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It looks, like, it looks like a Lay's packaging. So it might be part of Lay's. It says chicken flavor. You ain't gonna believe this. It smells like chicken. It smells like roasted chicken. It does. It smells like like a sandwich meat, like roasted chicken. No, like like a rotisserie chicken. Oh. To me, anyway. They don't smell bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, I go. Mm-hmm. It no. tastes like roasted chicken. Mm-hmm. Like a rotisserie, yeah, like a rotisserie chicken. You know, I really expected some weird stuff, but so far, I've really liked everything. Well, guys, this has been episode one of us trying uh, snacks from Australia. It's been awesome. Still got a whole bunch more to try, but this video is over 21 minutes right now, and it's going to be awful to upload thank you for finally being in a video with me <laughs> you're welcome maybe we'll get you in a spicy video we'll see okay i got some stuff that you can try that won't kill you i promise not everything that i try will make you want to die but all right guys yeah thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video bye guys